Welcome to this short video illustrating the correct method for priming the Marktel MECP-10K hydraulic calibration test pump. First, familiarize yourself with the parts and controls of the pump. There is a fluid reservoir for deionized water, mineral oil, or light hydraulic fluid, such as SEA-5W. The choice of media is important. A high viscosity fluid will not work and may damage the pump. On the side are the pressure adjustment vernier control and the variable bleed valve for pressure release. There are two 1 quarter inch NPT connection ports at the top of the pump. The top port should be left open until the pump is fully primed. Remove the filler cap on top of the fluid reservoir. Fill the reservoir up to the fill line with the appropriate fluid. Do not overfill the reservoir. Replace the filler cap finger tight. Do not use any tools to tighten the cap. Adjust the vernier knob to the middle of its range, that is about three full revolutions from either end of the range. Open the bleed valve fully. Now lay the pump over to a horizontal position. This will allow the internals of the pump to fill with the fluid media. Wait a few moments. You may see fluid starting to drip from the ports. This is expected as it indicates fluid is traveling through the pump. Now bring the pump back to a vertical position and immediately close the bleed valve fully. Do not over tighten the valve. It uses an O-ring for sealing. Over tightening can damage the O-ring. Operate the handle a few times to complete filling the pump with fluid. Make sure the limiter is set to allow maximum handle travel. You should observe a full bubble of fluid at the top port of the pump. Now connect test hoses, gauges, or other fittings that will be used for the test. Continue operating the pump until all of the test system is filled with fluid and pressure begins building. Take care not to overpressure any components of the system. Now open the bleed valve to release pressure. You may see air bubbles appear in the fluid reservoir indicating that air is being removed from the system. Repeat the process of building pressure and releasing two or three more times or until no more air is observed in the fluid reservoir when bleeding pressure. As pressure builds, be sure to reduce the limiter to minimize the effort needed to build pressure. The pump is now primed. If the pump is stored without use for a long period of time, it may lose prime. The procedure here should be repeated in that event. Thank you for buying our products. We hope this video helps you obtain the best service from your Martell MECP-10K hydraulic test pump.